Yeah, I'm back again. Sorry for the network problem. It's your brother, your friend, Casey Brand TV show. If it's your first time here, please don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like this video. And don't forget to share it to your friends. Share it to your friends so they can come around and grab this new update. Please share, share, share. And like the video. I'm back again. Please like and share. Yeah. I'm back again. So happy Sunday to everybody. Happy Sunday. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening to my beautiful people. It's another beautiful day that God has given to us. That's why we are all here again. If it's your first time here, please try to subscribe and please try to like this video. Please like this video. Let's talk about the sanatorium. I have new updates. I just spoke with my lawyer. So she gave me some idea about this sanatorium so that many people cannot fall victim, so that many people cannot make mistake. You know, with this sanatorium, understand? I know it's not an easy one. Sanatorium is not an easy one, but maybe some people can take documents from this sanatorium, understand? Because, you know, the fight was not easy. Oluwaye to say, I greet you. I greet you. I greet you. So, you know, the fight was not, it was not an easy one, but God did it and uh, they won the fight. So please, please share this video. So let's, let me just hit the information. Understand you see the hi bro Prince TV. I greet you, Prince TV. I greet you. I know it's been a long time. I know many people have been waiting for me to do life like this. <laughs> yeah, happy Sunday to all of you. Happy Sunday to all of you. I hope you guys are you know doing well. Please like this video and share the video. So if it's your first time here, it's your brother, your friend, Casey Brown TV show. So let's talk about this uh, sanatorium. So the lawyer is playing, she has playing to me about the sanatorium because um, you know, the sanatorium is a, it's a project, it's a degree that a, the government, you know, signed to regularize some irregular migrants, some migrants that, you know, they are working. These people that are working in different sectors like this farming, agriculture, the, you know, domestic workers. So that's why uh, she fights and uh, she won this, uh, this uh, sanatorium. So this year's sanatorium is, is not an easy one, understand? So, because yes, sanatorium, eh? The degree where they put for, may, may I use pigeon English? The degree where they put for this sanatorium this year is too hard. Because yes, sanatorium, what did they do before? Because now they say if your capo not get like uh, 30,000 euro, you know, if he give you the, uh, the you know, if he carry, you know, if he give you documents, you know, if he regularize, you know, if he carry go, prefecture may go give you documents. And you will work as domestic worker. If the person won't give you a contract, not get like 20,000, if not a single person, but if they don't be family, must get like 27,000, they're ready to. And uh, agriculture and uh, agriculture and uh, and uh, family people, they must, your couple must get like 30,000 ready to. So, if all those people don't get this ready to now, they don't go free fight for the sanatorium for you. Understand? So, you know, since the degree is too hard, not be easy one. So, now, people wasted the camp, wasted the camp, where they work for camp. Understand? If you get matter, your, your, you still get your, you still get your asylum protect your protect your asylum uh, matter for lawyer, or you still get to go for commission or appeal. Understand? You feel go for the sanatorium. You feel try go for the sanatorium, but make some questionnaire will give you book some the, some questionnaire will give you book make you sign say you want sign out from asylum protection or you want sign out say you know day for a uh, camp again make you know sign that book. The lawyers make you know sign. Please when I share the video. Please like this video. So first time, you also like the video. Hello, pure black Africa. I greet you. The lawyer say make people where they camp. If you they work, you they camp. Hmm? You want to go for the sanatorium. You feel go for the sanatorium. You fit go. But if your matter see day for lawyer, or you you still get to go commission, make you no sign out from camp. Make you know because Kostura go ask you say sign some Kostura go ask she my the lawyer they tell me say Kostura go ask say make you sign out say you know they you know want ask for uh, uh, like uh, all these uh, asylum no protection or uh, if you get you know want day camp again you want come out for the project you want do you want go for this uh, sanatorium make you know sign the book they'll give you tell them say no. You want your strive for the sanatorium if you go feel obtain the sanatorium. If God doesn't say you obtain sanatorium, 
good, but make you no know, sign that book to give you say make you come off for camp. Because if you sign come off for camp now and you don't apply for the sanatorium and your sanatorium you're not gonna accept them. Let me say you can you deal without no documents. So this one a branch, just tell me it's not is you they not go force you, it's not forced to sign. If you talk say you know one sign, they not go force you. Because you know you know they said the law say you must sign come off for camp. Understand? So now make I just bring this up. This can't give my people make people not go make mistake because many people now go go in the rush not more for say I get appear I don't feel wait for appear again and I, I not feel wait for for commission I get to work. You feel they do the two together. You feel go for sanatorium. You feel see go for this uh, asylum protection documents. You feel they do the two. If anyone fall for inside, you go. Understand? Make you no go sign that book. Say uh, maybe your question or prefecture. I can't give you say sign book. You want to sign out for camp? Make you no sign the book. It's not force. Understand? Not be forced. So if you get any question or anything you want to ask, if you write me, I'm here to answer you. So please share this video and like the video for the first time. Just share and like. So number two, another matter we see the board. Now many, you know, we still get many sectors. Where they work for, for like fabrica, where they work for companies. Many people see they work for companies and they don't pass the law to them. Understand? And uh, she says she knows see many, many, you know, irregular migrants see they work for different sectors. That is the Minister of uh, the Minister of Agriculture, that is Luciana Lamogese and uh, Teresa Belanova. Then no say different people, they have different you know, categories of people who see they work for these uh, fabrica or, you know, companies, they, they um, like, you know, a few days ago, they talk about and say they must still pass the law to those people because they do estimate, they say 600,000 irregular migrants, now they eat lean, understand? 600,000 irregular migrants, now they say they eat lean, we don't get documents. When they pass this sanatoria, That's true, but if they ask you to sign, ask them to give, yes, yeah, pure black, that is true, that is true, you see, that is true. If they ask you to sign, tell them to give you the document first, you see, if the, the question asks you to make you sign that book, say, you know, you know, one day camp again, you want to come out for asylum protection, or you know, want to go for commission again, or AP, they're not a force person, the lawyer says it's not force. Is not authorized, it's not they're not put on for law saying you must sign come off for camp. You understand? If you feel go for the two, if you feel go for the sanatorium, if you go for asylum, you know, uh, documents because if you go sign come off for camp, they feel not grant you. But now they say almost 10,000, I don't go for the documents. And few, many of them now they're not gonna give some for inside. And those 500 rips, some people don't pay now, they're not gonna give you back. Oh. They will not give you back. The 500 they don't pay, they're not gonna give you back. That one don't go. If they don't accept your 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 application, they don't accept your request, they know give you back that five hundred you go pay for to to go for the sanatorium. They will not give you back that one. Don't don't lose. Now wait till they talk. Understand? So before you go go sign or before you go say when your couple sign for you or who want give you work for domestic work, ask the person if he or are ready to reach this amount. Domestic workers like twenty thousand. If they don't, if they be husband and wife, the big family must go like twenty seven thousand. If they work for agriculture, your couple must get like thirty thousand ready to thirty k ready to. Your couple must get like thirty thousand ready to before you your couple fi carry go sign or carry go perfecture when I go do the document issue. But if they not get this ready to make you know go because the money go go like that. If now our people go say go the money go pay. You don't go see the money again. So we, meet, we need to be careful. Understand? We people not say, one go, you won't go forge contract, give you us. They, they control now. Police, they control. If you don't say you did work now, you did for domestic sector or farming sector, your couple no one give you documents. Understand? Your couple no one sign these documents for you. Tell your couple, say, if control come, if control come, if they give you muta, now you go pay the muta. It better if he get this ready to, to give you, make it give you. But some capo now they fear to pay tax. Now that tax mean of the they run from. Understand? Mean of the they run from that tax. 
Now be this one where they where they where they just they make the, the this is central and they slow. But now now the uh, the, the the government they say they want to give two hundred and twenty thousand irregular migrants documents. People where their documents don't expire for thirty uh, first of October. Understand? They reach now. They still they enter the reach now, and they must demonstrate. Say the day Italy from that thirty uh, first of uh, October reach now. They must demonstrate. Please like this video. Please like the video. Like the video. They must demonstrate. Say they, they, they don't they Italy reach now, and and you now. Thanks for the like. Thanks for the like. So if you demonstrate, say you don't they Italy, and you must show say you don't work before. And you know if you convert your documents because you know see work. You know, say this cash special where they give people or this cash special now. Now this now this cash special before this cash special we know they renew with with a uh, contract. Before where the the old government to a day, if you don't get contracts, this cash special you feel no, you feel renew you feel renew without no contract. But what of if you are already working and paying taxes? Yeah, you can go. But before you go, you need to ask your the person who wants. If you know you have, if you if you don't have documents at all, you can ask the person who give you the contract. If uh, if the person have this uh, ready to, if he or her ready to is um, is uh, as in above twenty thousand or thirty thousand, twenty thousand for the domestic workers and thirty thousand for the agricultural workers. Understand? Ask the person the person who give you the contract if the person have this ready to. Because uh, Kostura are asking and Prefecture they are asking for the ready to. That's the main thing they are looking upon. The ready to. Because if they did not put that ready to, everybody can obtain documents. Because this is sanitary, because it's first one. Understand? So that's why they put these measures, this degree. You understand? So that not everybody can go for the documents. Understand? So that's why they put the before the senator or before if the, the person who give you the contract don't have this ready to the person can give you contract they can give you documents but now they put this ready to thirty thousand and twenty thousand ready to understand so that's why this uh, senator is going slowly um, since last week till now since on the first day on the fourteenth they say almost ten thousand application and uh, the government they estimate through uh, twenty two hundred and twenty thousand people to obtain from this senator. And you see, say the sanctuary it is slow because many people don't have the ready to, and uh, many capo and many people uh, employees they don't want to, you know, pay these taxes. That's why the sanctuary is going slowly. Understand? So before you can beg or ask person to give you contracts, you want to, you know, so you better be careful. Ask the person, the person have the ready to to give you this uh, document. Understand? So that you can't, you don't go and waste your money. Understand? Tell the person to give, show you the ready to, so you can the person can give you documents because you cannot go like that. So let me break it down again to my people so that people can understand. If you have any, if you have any question you want to ask, I'm here for you. Just ask question. Just write to me. I'm here to give you your answers. Understand? Just ask me. I'm here to give you answers. So now many many people now. They travel since uh, on Monday. Many people we they defer country now. They they travel. They come Italy from France. Now, France police don't control Italy police. Same man. People don't they come. Say they don't yes. Say they, they share documents. They don't they come from different Europe country. They come Italy. Now they don't block road. Understand? I get the video, but I'll do for my I'll show you for my next video. They don't block road. Understand? Because they say they want to come find work. Some people don't go hustle for different countries. We don't lose their documents. Maybe they, they run the come. Because if you don't come up for Italy, now go to other country, go stay. You stay more than three months. You come back, you want to renew your documents. Sometimes question not go give you your documents. Sometimes they go hold the documents. So before you they travel, they go on that country. Maybe you see be careful. Understand? Maybe be careful. Make a fair man just may I talk about people with the asylum because now those people now want just you know. You know, educate small way, educate our people with today in my camp. Now, those people are the many, those on the day, they will ask questions a lot. People where they camp, please like this video, please like this video. You where they camp, you hear about the sanatorium, you they walk, you feel go for the sanatorium. You where they camp, you they walk, you feel go for the sanatorium. 
Understand? If your capo or the person who give you the contract gets the ready to, or it gets all the documents, where if it give you documents, you feel go. But if the questioner give you any book to sign, no sign that book. Now waiting lawyer talk, no sign that book. Say make you come out for camp. Say make you sign come out for camp. No sign. Because maybe you feel go request, they feel not accept your request. Understand? So that's why I say make you no sign. If they don't accept your request, you feel go, you feel see the full follow up for this your uh, asylum document or anyone they want to give you. It's better. If you get RP, wait for your RP. Understand? If you get commission, still wait for your commission. If you know so you get this, uh, people will still hold this six months document, this yellow document. If you get work, you feel go. You feel go for the sanatorium. Yellow document, this six months, three months document. You feel go for the sanatorium. If you know, if you get work, you feel go for the sanatorium. Understand? You feel go, but don't sign out of camp. Don't sign out of camp. It's very important so that you don't, you don't make mistake. Don't sign out from camp. Don't sign out. Because Kweshra will ask you to sign out. Some Kweshra will just use your brain to sign out. Then you go and sign that book. Before you know, they will not accept your sanatorium and you have already signed out of camp. It's going to be a big problem. It's better you go for lawyer. If you have a lawyer, lawyer will help you a lot. They will help you. Understand? So that's why they ask if you have any clarification, if you have your passport or birth certificate, you should, you know, before you go for the sanatorium, you have, you need to have all these uh, documents, passport or birth certificate. So if you know you're in Nigeria, contact your, your embassy. Some people are there to help you out. Understand? They are there to help you. So any question, if you have any question, you can drop. I'm here to answer your question. I'm here to answer your question. So let me talk about the casa speciality. People want to convert their casa speciality to, do, to working permits, understand? And uh, you lose your document. You lose your document because say, you know fine work. Take convert your document and you date Italy. Understand? You feel go back to Questura, go request for another six months to look for job. You feel go, go request for another six months to look for job. Yeah. You can go back to Questura for another six, they will give another six months to look for job. So if you can find job, you can convert the six months to working permit. Understand? If you can find job, you can convert the six months to working permit. I know it's not easy. But understand? It's not easy. This document issue is not easy. This case, especially way uh, Savi can change, they make things they, they difficult for people. Please like this video. I'm seeing ten, 10 people watching. Please like the video. Savini come, he changed the law. Casa especially, if you don't have work, they will reduce the, the documents to one year. And if you didn't find a job, they will reduce it to six months. Some customer will not, they, will, they won't give you. They will still hold the documents and you find a job to renew the documents. And if you don't find work, the documents don't go. This one is very bad to understand. Before, years back, this case especially, people they renew without working permits. But if you can't find work, say you want China to, you want China to work in permit, it's very easy. You go to Costa, they will change it to work in permits for you. But now, waste of any coin, you can't come out, say you must find work to renew the documents. So that's why these irregular migrants, they increase, but they don't know. Understand? That's why the irregular migrants, they increase because scarce especially if you don't find work, they will reduce the documents. And even some cases, people who are holding this uh, protection of society and they, they, in the, that protection of society, you see say they, they, in the back, they write uh, Lavoro, please go and look for work. Oh. <laughs> that protection of society that you are holding, they, are, they wrote on the back Lavoro, you need to look for job to renew it. I'm telling you. Yeah, share to your friends, share to your friends. Many, many of your friends can learn from this um, this updates share to your friends let them know about the documents they are holding understand please like the video if you're coming if you're for, subscribe if you're not yet subscribed see if you are holding protestonic subsidiary and they in that back of the protestonic subsidiary they, they wrote lavoro you need to look for lavoro because why <laughs> if you go for renew without working permits they will without working contracts they will ask you about the working contracts 
because in the back of the permesso di sojourno, way uh, in that protocol you see the right lavoro. They will um they will ask you about the your work contract. You you don't find you didn't bring any any work contract. They will reduce that. They might reduce the five years. They might reduce it. They will give you two years. It's casa speciale. That is the new one now. The new play. So you guys need to be careful. Some question might reduce it. They will ask you to look for contracts. That's protestional society that they wrote on the back. Lavoro, you need to look for work. Why some protestional society that they don't, they did not write any uh, Lavoro. You can go without no Lavoro. But anyone you see Lavoro on the back, you need to look for Lavoro. You need to look for work to renew it. Before the customer can, re they can reduce it. It has happened. Understand? So you that you have Casa Speciale, you need to look for job to renew your Casa Speciale. You need to look for job because no, they will reduce it. They will reduce it. So that is a good one. They will reduce it. So you need to be careful about it. Understand? So that's why many people are, you know, you will just, some people will obtain documents. They will travel out of Italy to different country, you know, to work. And you know, in European and in Italy law, you can't stay outside Europe country or any Schengen country. Can you change the working permit to autonomy if you lost your job? Yeah, you can change it to autonomy if you lost your job. You can go to Costa and ask that you want to convert your working permit to self-employed because you are now working on your own. You don't want to work under someone. You have your own work. You're working on your own. You can tell them and you have to register your working, your this is your self employ and uh, work. So you go to CAF or, yeah, you go to CAF. They will help you. They will register your, your working, you know, your company. If you have company, if you have any brand, you register it. They will give you your contracts of your registration. They will give you a book that you will be using to pay the taxes. So with those things, you can go back to Costra to, you know, to request for, for a permit to autonomous. So that's a, a good point. Pure uh, pure black Africa, you have a point there. Let me educate my people with this uh, autonomy also. If you know you have Casa Speciale, understand? In some Costura shop, but some Costura don't accept. If you know you have Casa Speciale, eh? please like this video. Please like this video. You will, you will learn from this, uh, this, this, uh, this broadcast. You will learn a lot. So if you know you have Casa Speciale, and you, you know you have customer Charlie. You, you, don't, you didn't find any work. You look for a job. You didn't find any job. What you need to do, you need to go to CAF and register your own self employ Go to CAF, CGL. Tell them you want to register your, your, your work, your company, your, your brand. You have a brand that you want to register your, your, your shop. Understand that you have a shop. Your, 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 you want to be your own self employ on your own you want to be both on your own so you have to fill some form you have to you know fill some form you have to pay to fill the form they, they used to call this form party time even understand with this party time even they will give you this this document you have, you need to you know give them your 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 permits of the sojourner your your resident permits your codes fiscale understand so you fill this form when you finish you fill this form then um, maybe they will send the rest of the form in your in your in your residence understand in your home understand after you're finished filling the form understand so maybe they will send the contracts in your the place that you're staying so you need to give them your residence the place that you're staying the real residence so they will send this form to you that is your contract and uh, they will give you these uh tickets that you, you you use to be paying your taxes every three months understand so when you have this document on you you can go back to Questura to convert your castle speciality to autonomy. I don't know if your Questura accepted. Some Questura, my Questura accepted. But you must be paying your taxes. So you need to pay the tax. Understand? You need to pay the tax to the full and please like the video. All those people will get castle speciality, we get two years. We get two years. You feel go calf or C, uh, calf, CGL, tell and say you want to do safe employ. You want to ask of Patita Ivan. You register this Patita Ivan with the contract where they give you for hand. And uh, with this contract, 
you free use this your contracts go renew your casa speciality to autonomous you convert it to casa speciality to autonomous to we you not go lose your casa speciality but the task so they follow you need to pay them understand you need to pay them if you still find work is very important if you can be paying the task if you can find work someone to give you contracts if you can be paying the task no problem it's very important so that you can be converted in, you can have this uh, permit uh uh, working permit, you can renew your working permit like two times, uh, four years. The, f the fifth year, you can ask for Qatar, uh, Qatar de Sojourno. Understand? With this Qatar de Sojourno, you can travel out of Italy, you understand, to go and work in different on that country. But you ha if you're having these two years, five years, you don't have to leave Italy to another country to work. It's against the law. You, you need to go to another country, like you stay just three months, you need to, be, you need to come back to Italy. Because if you stay more than three months, oh my God, that's why a lot of people have called me. My documents never come out. My documents never come out. Then I ask them, where you go? Which, how you take work out with these documents? I go, no way. I go to uh, Germany. I go to France. Then uh, you don't come back. They know. They know, say you travel. They know, say you no work. They know, say you no work. That's why they change that document. So you must have work for you to convert it. That's why they changed the document before. This case especially, without working permits, we really know them before. They will still give us about one year, two years back without working permits. The way they come, this new government come, they can't put them to labor because they know so many people, they travel to different Europe countries like that. They'll still come back and renew. So that's why they say some people don't want work. Some people like to go, they go camp to camp. And that's why they change it. You change it. So we need to be careful with this document. If you because if you stay more than three months, you come back. Understand? You come back for renew. Like one of my friends, he whole five years document. He traveled to another country. He stayed three years. The fourth year I come back, one call a new document. Nike was still up. The whole lamb and they revoke the document. They don't give a document again. They don't give a document. So you need to go to lawyer to complain. Now lawyer can't fight the matter for her because your document, you need to use the document to work. Understand? I know say it's not easy. It's not easy. Except you have Qatar, the sojourn that you can travel to another European country to work, to stay. But with these five years, two years documents, you don't have you don't need to, you know, travel anyhow with it. You don't need to travel anywhere. Please like this video. If you know you like you you're learning from it, please like the video. Please like the video. If you have any questions, just throw it on my in the comment section. I'm here to answer your questions. If you have any question, you want to know, you need any you need you want to ask any question, you can you know, you can write. I'm here to answer your questions. So that is it. You guys need to be careful about this uh, document issue. Understand? You need to be careful with your documents. If you know you have this uh, yellow document, six months, you're working, you can go for the sanatorium. If you know you're working, you have this yellow document, six months yellow document, you can go for the sanatorium if you have, a, if you have work. Understand? If you have work. If you know you're you are in camp, you still have, you need to go to commission, you have a P to go, you are working, you can go for the, san, to, for the sanatorium. But don't sign out of camp. Don't sign out of your, your, your commission. Don't sign out, out of your AP. You can, you know, be doing both of them together because they might not accept your sanatorium. And maybe you can obtain good documents from these, uh, from Azillion, you know, protection. I'm an electrician with contracts. Can I apply for the, the documents? Hmm... Uh, for now, they have not, you know, added other sectors for now because maybe inside this week they are going to, you know, they are going to discuss about it to add other sectors. For now, they have not yet add other sectors. You know, so maybe inside this week they will discuss about it. People are willing. People are waiting for them to, you know, you know, pass because they know that they have other. If I, I wish you guys are reading news because I used to, you know, read news about migrants, this document issue. I read a lot about it just to pass to my people. So please like this video. Please like the video. So she knew that they have a lot of many migrants still working in different sectors. Understand? She knew about it, being forced to work. So she said that. Maybe this, that meeting, she's going to bring it out. 
to discuss about other sectors so they can add other sectors on, on this uh, sanatorium because they estimate 220,000 people, irregular migrants, to obtain this sanatorium. But now they are seeing only just 10,000 people, you know, going for the sanatorium. So that's why she's saying, okay, now we estimate 220,000. Maybe other sectors, other categories of workers, like the fabricants, these are uh, like electricians, they are fabricants, like companies, like uh, industries, like, uh, you know, other sectors. So maybe some migrants are, are in, in these sectors working also, being forced to work, and many of them have contracts. We can still add these people. So that these people can be regular. So these people can work with you know regular condition. So they cannot be you know forced to work. Understand? So she said, okay, maybe maybe on the next meeting I'll be I'll be following up with this uh, meeting so I can know what they are saying about these uh, other sectors. So we are praying so they can pass the these uh, sanatorium to other sectors, other ca categories of uh, workers. So my brother, my, my brother, please let's be prayerful. Maybe they can pass it to other sectors because there is no time. Because today uh, today is 14. We still have only one month, you know, to go for the sanatorium. So let's let's. And I'm seeing some um, some parties, other parties are, you know, supportive to this sanatorium. Many parties are saying, let us uh, extend, you know, they need to ex uh, extend this uh, sanatorium from, instead the sanatorium will expire on the 15th of July. They say they should uh, make it till 31st of August. Because the, uh, the people that, that are submitting this uh, application, the people that are requesting, is going, it's slowing, it's not growing, it's not going faster. So they want to, you know, extend this uh, sanatorium to 31st of August. Maybe, maybe, understand? So maybe if they add other categories, maybe if they add other sectors of, you know, cat uh, other sectors of workers, maybe they can extend this uh, sanatorium to 31st of August. Maybe. So let's be prayerful. Let's be prayerful. Please like this video. Let's like, please like this video. Please, when I like this video, I'm here to, you know, pass, you know, vital information to my brother and sister. Today is Sunday. I'm just happy to be here with you guys. Let me bomb you before I go. I just want to, you know, I'm mechanic working with contracts. I'm not in camp. So can I apply for six months sanatorium? Hmm. I'm still saying the, this. I'm saying um, is what I'm saying, but um, they have not yet added other sectors. Understand? As I'm saying before, they have not yet added other sectors. It's all of this farming and the agriculture and domestic workers. Other sectors we need to wait. So maybe this um, their next meeting they will be they will discuss about it. Understand? Not uh, that uh, the, the Minister of Interior don't know that they, they have other people working in different sectors. They knew about it, but uh, they need to discuss about it because the government only signed this uh, for this uh, farming, agriculture, and domestic workers. So maybe in the next meeting, they might add other sectors. So adding other sectors, they can still extend this uh, sanatorium to like the deadline can finish 31st of August, is what they're saying. Please like this video. Please like the video. Any question? Any question? So, Ali Muhammad, you understand? They have not yet added other these your sectors. So it's only for the agriculture, farming, fishing, and the domestic workers. Understand? The abadante. So and the babysitter. So cleanings. So if you have any questions, so I'm here for my people today. Thanks you so much. Thank you so much for my for your good job. Wow, welcome, welcome. Thank you too. Thank you too. Thanks, 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 Ali. So please, if it's your first time here, please try to subscribe. You will learn a lot. Maybe sometimes if I have time, I'll be coming live like this to educate and you know to, we should learn from each other. We should know what is what are, what the kind of document that we are holding and how to go on with this our document and what we need to do with this our document. Understand? This document is somehow complicated. So that's why people are losing their documents. They don't know how. Many people have put their documents for, you know, in renew for many years. It's not yet out because you travel with the documents. You travel to another country. Understand? Understand? Amidu. Amidu, thanks, 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 thanks. You travel to another country. Understand? Then you... you you're coming back to obtain to renew your documents. 
So the questioner will not renew your document. They won't renew the document. Please share this video. Please share the video to your friends so that they can learn from it. Many, many of your friends don't know what is happening to their documents so they can learn from this, uh, this advice. So please like the video. Something watching, but only three likes. No, we have 16 likes now. <clears throat> so please why many people are losing their documents why some people document is not yet out is because you travel to different to to different country you travel to to the country that with these documents and you stay more than three months with this costura can hold your document costura can detain your document costura can revoke your document so you need to be careful so that's why you put your, your document in renew. You'll be waiting. Ah, my document never come out to see how many months. Because they knew that you travel. Because when you buy tickets to you want to go to another to another document. So when you buy tickets, you are going to diff, to another country. They knew that you bought a ticket and you buy that ticket with your document. You want you, you they go you enter flight, you enter train, maybe control at this side train, control your document, he writes and he detail he writes and jot and for a for a for a jot and say this person traveled to this country. So so time, so so date. And this information that they send that they go your questionnaire to Italy. So Italy people go no say you don't come up for Italy to that country. So you're coming back now. When you they come back. You buy tickets from that country, control, uh, maybe controller will still control you for a train when you're coming back. They will see, you are maybe you stay more than, maybe two months or three months, they'll say, okay, this guy stay two months. Then you're back, no problem. But when you stay more than three months, they, may, they, will, they will ask you about, maybe because we call you, tell you, say, you travel to this country and you stay more than this. Uh, maybe something, you understand? They can detain the documents. They will hold the documents. They won't give you back. Maybe like eight months, nine months before they will release the document. Understand? Maybe if you stay more than years, you won't see the document again. Many people will be traveling. They don't get two years. They will travel to nowhere. They get, uh, they travel, they travel, they go to nowhere. Maybe some people will write, they will get contracts. You have contracts. Then you travel to another place. And um, maybe you have contracts here. You are paying the taxes. Or maybe the person who even you, who give you contracts. The person is not paying the taxes for you and you're coming back to a new document. They still knew that you travel out of the country with that document. If you are still paying the tax, they knew that you're not working. You are in another place. So use your brain. Use your brain. So please like this video. Use your brain. Before you move, you need to calculate. I know Italy is not is not easy place, but in documents. You know, in documents, they are trying, they give documents, but in another, con another country, they won't give you that document. It's very difficult for another country to give you documents. Many people have spent 10 years, 8 years in different country waiting for documents. They won't. Before you see documents, it's very difficult. But Italy will give you documents, but you need to build that document with patience. Build the documents. When you have this kata, 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 kata this journey, you can travel to another country to work. You can travel to another country. You can convert the documents on that, to any other country, you know, documents. So, but you need to build your documents. Understand? Living in, in Europe with that document is very difficult. It's very difficult. So we need, when you embrace documents, patience, know how to use the documents. Understand? If you have... Casa Speciale, go for autonomous. If you, if you, if you don't define work, go for autonomous. Understand? Go for autonomous. So that you, you won't lose the documents. Because when you lose documents, it's very difficult again to so, you know, have documents. This is a natural now. Many people now forget documents because they keep their documents so many years. Understand? Many people don't, and many of them don't stay many years for Italy now. Many, many years. They cannot go back to their country. But this is an opportunity. Now, make many of them they rush to, you know, grab this document. This is an opportunity to, you know, obtain, to get documents. When you get these documents now, it's a better thing. So you fight to, to you know, to, to upgrade the documents, to make the documents more stronger. Understand? To make the documents more stronger is very important. Don't joke with your documents. 
Don't joke with your documents. Understand? Documents, you will document, you can achieve a lot. But when you, ha you don't have documents, keep on hiding from one place to another, hiding from one place to another. You have documents, maybe you, you'll be thinking to travel outside the country, but no, don't travel anyhow. Don't list it and say, understand? Many people have lost their document in different countries because of them say, my friends say that they pay for that side, then say that place, nah. But that place, no, they give documents. But yeah, they give documents. Understand? That place, no, they give documents. People where don't get where, where you don't go that place, they don't get documents. It's very difficult. It's very difficult. So when you get documents, hold your documents strong. Understand? Build your documents. Look for job. You will see they come. Try when they go to school. See they go to school. See they learn some more, some more Italy. They go course. Understand? Try me. They go training school. All those training course. Understand? Understand? Try. Please like this video. If you are learning from this program, please like the video. Understand? It's very important. Hello, guys. <clears throat> it's very important. So, please, when you have documents, don't joke with your documents. Don't joke with your documents. Make sure you maintain your documents. Make sure you build your documents. Understand? The sanatorium, I've told you, if you are going for the sanatorium, if you are staying in camp, please don't sign out of camp. Don't sign out of camp. My number, my number is my, in my description. I put, uh, my number is there in my description. In my description, you can see my number. <clears throat> You can only call me on WhatsApp. Please like this video. Please like the video. Only WhatsApp call, please. Hmm. Please don't joke with your documents. What I'm saying, if you know you're still in camp, if you're going for the sanatorium, don't sign out of camp. It's very important. Don't sign out of camp. Because maybe you might not obtain documents from camp, from the sanatorium, or maybe you, they might give you camp um, uh, documents from, you know, asylum protection. Let me drop my number. You can come here, you can call me on WhatsApp, only WhatsApp with this number. So that is the information of today. When another say this sanatorium is not a flop, is not a failure, because many people, many parties are saying that this sanatorium is a failure because they they estimated uh, 220,000 immigrants to obtain, irregular migrants to obtain these documents, but they are seeing only 10,000 immigrants going for the application. So that's why many, many parties are saying, we, you see, this uh, sanatorium is a you know, failure, but she said no. If, it, if not only one person, if it's only one person can obtain these documents, it's a better one. Understand? She says it's a better one of taking that person away from the mafias. I'm taking that person away from being irregular to be regular. So it's a good move for her. She said if it's only one person that obtained documents from this sanatorium, it's a good one. So that's why she said this sanatorium is not a flop. The regularization is not a flop. It's not a failure. Understand? If it's only one person that who obtained documents from this, it's a good one. So please like this video. Please like the video. My number is there, you can see my number, you can call me on WhatsApp. On WhatsApp only. If you have any question on in, in your document, any document issue, anything you want to know anything about documents, you can you know WhatsApp me or you can you know call me on WhatsApp with this number. I'm meant to give you answers to your question. You can write me, write um, you can write me, I'm here. Please don't forget to share this video to your friends to your lovely ones so they can see and uh, learn from this information also. They can learn from this information. It's, this information can, you know, people can learn a lot from this. Understand?
many people are making mistake with this document issue understand so many people cannot make mistake understand because the government somewhere the questioner and the, the prefectoria they place you know monitoring people who are monitoring these documents who are monitoring this sanatorium because they know there will there, there will be some you know scammers contracts scammers so that's why they place that degree that 30,000 ready to that 20,000 ready to that's why they place it there because they knew that they're going to be scammers there with this camera, you understand? So that's what they place, and they are controlling right now. Because if your capo don't want to give you job and um, a contract, tell your capo to give you contract because they are controlling. And maybe they will give your capo muta. If you you are working without no documents, maybe muta will reach your hands. So tell your capo, tell your capo to give you contract. And many capo, you know, I don't want to pay tax. So tell your capo. So talk to your capo to give you documents because you are working without no documents so many years or so you know. Tell your couple with this, it can help you to be regular. With all of these documents a lot, a loan is a better thing for you. Please like this video. Like this video. Please like, like, like. Show me love. Show me love. Show me love. Talk to your couple to give you contracts. Talk to your couple to, you know, give you contracts so you can, you know, obtain documents but let your couple know about the ready to before you go and pay that five um, 500 euro before you can apply talk to uh, let your couple know about the ready to if your couple have this uh, if you are working in agriculture your couple need to have thirty thousand euro ready to domestic workers twenty thousand if it's one person if it's husband and wife or family twenty seven thousand so you need to have your birth certificate or your passport to go for the application before you can apply understand people who don't have documents at all but if you know you have you have documents and you lose your documents this casa especially you lose it because you didn't find work to convert it because you uh yeah without no work you didn't convert the, the this casa especially and you lose the documents you can go back to questura to ask for six months again to look for job but you must be in italy Hello? Good afternoon. I'm going to. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm here. If you are working in this uh, domestic uh, sector, you can go for the uh, for the sanatorium. So you need to ask the person if the person can give you contract. Yes, Yeah, if if yeah, if you know the person can give you the contract, the person have this uh, document. Understand this is a request. They are requesting. If okay, they, uh, okay. If you can be paying the taxes, you can go. 
they can give you the documents they will give you yeah they will give you Yeah. Yeah, you need to go for your nationality yeah. first. Yeah. Your passport. Yeah. The third one, no, then because you said first one, second one. Uh, okay, if you know you can be paying the tax, you can, you know, the, person, uh, the tax, you can go for the sanatorium, they will give you the sanatorium. Yeah, you know, based on the contract, the person right for you. The contract, um, based on the contract, maybe uh, like domestic workers now. Many people within my area now they give them now fees work, they give the lies fees. So. Understand fees contract. That fees contract now that they give them better that they give them better documents. Yeah. Ah, then yeah, the, yeah, yeah, the better documents. Yeah, if you have fees, yeah, uh, no problem. They'll give better documents because it's fees. You are working. You have contract. They will give you like uh, if you have fees, they give like two years sometimes. Yeah. No, no problem. God bless you too. You. Okay, Thank now. You. Okay, thanks. Yeah, maybe we're gonna be stopping for today. If you want to call, you can call in. This my number is there. If you want to ask any question, I'm here to answer your question. Please don't forget to like this video. So if it's your first time here, and please don't forget to subscribe. Understand? Don't forget to subscribe. Yeah, we are here to learn about document issue. We are we are here to talk about the sanatorium. Understand? So. Please don't forget to share this video, share this video, share the video. Let people know about this information. Understand? If you know you're in camp because I contact my lawyer, if you know you're in camp, you have commission, you have a P. Hello. You understand? You have a P. Please, if you are going for the sanatorium, if you are going, if you know you have contracts, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. And you? Who shift? Dawa, Dawa, da. I'm fine. Cool. Please give me your like. Please show me love. Understand? So if you know you are in camp, you are staying in camp. You have a P. You have commission to go. Please, you want to go for this uh, sanatorium, and you have contracts. Understand? You have contracts, and the person who give you these contracts have these documents they are requesting you maybe you have your passport you have your nationality nationality you can go for the for the documents but if the questioner ask you to sign out from camp they ask you to sign out from asylum protection don't sign that paper understand May, maybe they might not give you the documents the sanatorium maybe they might not give you or maybe you can obtain documents from the asylum protection Understand? Understand? So that's why you need to be careful with this sanatorium because before you go for this sanatorium, don't let anybody go and say, okay, I will give you contracts, let me give you contracts. Ask the person before you go and spend money anyhow, you pay the 500 euro, pay all the money. Then later they will tell you that you are not quali qualified for the documents. Ask the person to give you the, show you you are ready to, to see the ready to is 20, 27,000. If you can snap it, snap it. 
show to give it to people who know how to who, know, who read about it, who know about this code already too so you can be sure about it so you, go, you don't go and make mistake because there is no time so that you find a better person who can give you contract to regularize you to give you a better a better contract or give you a, 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 a to give you a document understand so don't go and fall victim understand if you know you have a p you can still be going for your p you can still be going for your commission you can still go for the sanatorium you can go for Three of them, so that if anyone fall from inside, you can, you can grab it. Understand? So, if you know you don't have hope at all for any documents, but you have working contracts, you can go for the sanatorium. Because sanatorium is a good one also, because it's better than more than this uh, yellow document. If you have this yellow document, this yellow six months or three months, you can convert this yellow or three six months to, to sanatorium documents. Understand? You can convert it to sanatorial document. From that sanatorial document, you can convert it to work. Because with this yellow paper, you cannot convert it to any other document. But with sanatorial, you can convert it to a working permit. Understand? Working permit is a strong one. If you have fixed contracts, they, can, they might give you like one year or two years uh, document. It's a good one. You can travel with it. You can go to your country of origin. You can travel with it. But you need to do your your passport or you have a nationality, understand? With this, you can go for the sanatorium, understand? So you need to be careful about this. You need to be careful before you go and fall victim. Please like this video, share this video. If you want to call, you can call A. My number is there, 351-2845-934. If you want to call to ask any question, you want to ask any question, 351-2845-934. For any question because I want to drop right now before one yeah I want to drop I need to if you want to ask any question I'm going to answer your question please don't forget to like this video don't forget to share this video share this video please <laughs> Any question? The government estimated three two hundred and twenty thousand people to obtain sanatorium, but the way the sanatorium is moving, the way it's going, is going slowly. Very slow, slow, slow. Understand? 10,000 people for just two weeks. It's very poor. So that's why uh, the Minister of Interior and the Minister of, uh, of Agriculture, they are planning to hold another meeting so they can include other sectors, other sectors of work, you know, of workers. Understand? Other sectors, other categories, fabricants, companies. Different people who are, they have different regular migrants working in different sectors. So that's why they're saying, okay, maybe they can bring it out, they can talk about it, so they can pass the law to them also. Understand? So maybe the, the deadline uh, of the sanatorium, they say maybe 15th of, Ju of July, they can extend it to 31st of August so that people can apply also. People can obtain documents. Understand? People can obtain documents. So maybe they're planning about this to, you know, extend these... Uh, this uh, sanatorium to other sectors, not only for agriculture or farming or domestic, to other sectors. That's why many people are still, you know, protesting about it. People are protesting about it. Hello? I'm with you. Cool, cool, cool. Are you? Yeah, I'm seeing the number. Yeah, you can ask me.
No, in two effect is only you see the 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 questura or the prefectura they look to your passport to to give you documents. They don't look the document that you have having to, to give you another document. They only look the passport. If you change any dates in this passport, is the passport date they will use for any documents. Is that his work? You don't have to be afraid. Yeah, yeah. Is any the date that is in your passport is that date they will use for you? It's different. Yeah, she can do something about it. Yeah, she can do something about it. Yeah, you just. And this is your yeah yeah you tell her this is your passport this is the the date of your birth the date of every she knew understand even the questioner they knew about that you change your date and that date in your passport is the real date understand maybe they will ask you how ah, you say maybe they you for, you you forgot the, the but you use the one in the passport that is the one that we use is that the one that we use? yeah the one that we use. okay no yeah, you explain it to her. She know what to do about it. Uh, we are if uh, if they if they if they add other sectors if they add other sectors they maybe they can extend it. If they add other sectors, uh, they are waiting. They wait. I am 15. Better. Okay, no problem. I will pray so. Oh, no problem. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay, bye for now. Okay. Okay, my people are going to be stopping for a year. We're going to be seeing my next video anytime. I'll be live uh, when I have a chance, okay? Please don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to share this video. Don't forget to subscribe if it's your first time here. See you on my next video. See you on my next video. Let us stop from here, okay? Happy Sunday once again. And stay safe and stay blessed. And much love to you all. Much love. Embrace love. Let love lead us as black, okay? Bye for now.